hey guys welcome back to xsoft original and i am very happy to see you you know on this platform all right so thank you very much for all your support and i really appreciate it okay so from this series i've been getting a lot of response from you know uh, different people and it is quite encouraging okay so um this is my first time trying to build um, a video editing application in um, Flutter. So I've been gotten some messages from you know some good friends and they've been sharing out some packages with me. So the package we are going to use is a video editor and you know some additional packages. All right, so this is what we did on our previous video and all the magic is gonna lies here And I'm not gonna hide anything from you. We're just gonna do everything here All right, so what I'm actually gonna tell you to do is just go to your browser and just go to pop.dev Just go to pop.dev Excellent So from pop.dev you have to let's just search for video editor and this is going to be the extension um, this is going to be the package we're going to use for this particular project so we have the video editor here just click it so we have flutter video editor and this is the example of how it actually looks like and it, it has it has a lot of features you can trim the video you can tr um, you know trim a customization and all that all right and also you can do a whole lot of things with this so i have already added some packages which of course i want to share with you guys so in my um yeah in my edit screen uh, let's go to um, my pop spec yaml and i have added an image picker so you just have to come here just add an image picker just like this and it's just gonna come then you just add the image picker and I just added a helpers you know I added helpers so um, yeah so just add the helpers so just add them and also um, I added one more that is the video editor so you just have to make sure you have the video editor in your project perfect and from the video editor it has um, an example with a very clean and easy to you know customize example here so we're just gonna implement from the example so you just have to make sure you understand what you are doing so first of all i'm just gonna try to implement this so make sure you have it inside your um edit screen and inside your edit screen just go up and let's just import them here but make sure you have you have inserted it into your pop spec eml and you have just save it for it to you know get a pop get to, or to run the flutter pop gate all right so from the edit screen here i'm actually gonna go back to um, this screen and just copy everything from here up to this part just copy that and we just go back here then i just gonna paste it right here excellent so just have to you know import this to in addition to that okay so yeah now <coughs> sorry let's see something here let me just quickly fix this thing so we have it here and just go down here and let's just add the math function so you just have to uh you know import the math okay so let's see All right so let's go back to the figma and we just have to import the dot as math right just this one just copy that and I'll just you know import it in addition to this I just override everything so that is the reason why I have those errors all right so whilst I have this we are good to go right and from here it just gives you the basic setup on how to you know get started so this is just 
a material up it is returning but from here it is giving you a statement that this is a pick video screen right so let's quickly copy from this class just copy from here from the pick video screen come down till this section so let's just copy that and let let's come here and we just have to um i would just love to you know collapse some things up so i'm just going to go down here after this widget so i'm just going to collapse this widget then i just come down here then i paste everything and do that oh come on so i just paste this here and yeah so we have the pick screen here and I, I'm not using null safety so I'm just gonna remove it and let's see the video editor so this is uh, this is gonna be the page is you, you're gonna refer to use as your editing so with this page let's quickly bring this page here so that we can start doing something with this page so how we're gonna do is let's go back and that is the video editor page so let's just bring the video editor page come down come down come down come down till this end let's just copy this let's just come back here and we just add it right here we'll just group it later because um we will just group it later so i just have to remove the required from there and then the late let's just remove it yeah so there is a crop screen here so i'm just going to comment this out for now just going to comment it or uh, if not commenting we can actually bring the crop screen as well so let's just bring the crop screen so we have the crop screen also here so let's just copy the crop screen and then we have the uh, you know that is a widget which is a splash top right so let's copy everything from here come here let's just paste it after this section just gonna categorize everything don't worry so we have this here let's just remove the required required everything so this looks amazing right so let's just save this and what we're gonna say is now let's get back to this media guy so we just go to the we just go to the the widget here and I'm just gonna pass a build context and the context and I just come down here so we have the lens and we have the video that is this guy here so inside the video on press I'm just gonna you know copy something and paste it right here so I'll just say navi navigator dot push so it's gonna be a material let me quickly go to the create project and let's copy this guy and I'll just paste it here I'm very lazy nowadays so I'm just gonna paste it here and instead instead of you know push replacement I'll just say push right and I'll just come here you know instead of saying edit screen I'm just gonna say um, hot is this error let's just fix this error so it is it is trying to access the context right okay so let's come here and instead of returning this edit screen we we are going to return let's see what we have here we are going to return um, the video screen right so we are going to return the video um, not the video screen but the picker screen so we just go up 
app we will be organizing this so you don't have to worry at all so that is the video picker page so just copy that then let's go up from here then just paste this picker that is awesome so let's just save this now we can simply click on this media and there you go we have this screen and that is going to be our image picker that is that video picker pick video that is it so what i can do from here is with a background color i'm not going to set it up to white i can set it up to bg color excellent then i save it just you know try to work with it and you know instead of using um you know an abba i'm just going to get rid of the abba because as soon as you just you know as soon as you just pick the image or you pick the video it's going to redirect you back to where you will be editing your video right so that looks awesome now let's just you know give it a, a color of white perfect and with a pick video gallery i think it's kind of cool you can edit the text anyhow you want to do it and this is returning an elevated button so let's set the color i think we just have to say the style it's gonna be button style and the button style we're just gonna set the background color then we can say um shadow color but i would like not to use an elevated button from here i will then like to use um let me quickly use a floating action button dot extended and with it on press i'm just gonna add this function here and with a label is actually gonna be a text and i'm just gonna say pick your media file just like this and um i will just set the background color to be the shadow color perfect and with the on press i'll just bring this video picker just copy this and let's just bring this here perfect excellent so let's just delete this elevated button it's no more needed so let's just save this and we have it there perfect so let me quickly add a size box and i'll specify the height to be maybe 20 good so i'm just going to add a const here uh, a minute guys okay so now we have um yeah so let's try to fix this and let's try to test this out and let's see what it's going to give us so when i click on this i have this error so let's just stop it just stop this stop the whole you know system then let's go to the build let's try to you know run it again and let's see what happens so i'll pause the video and i'll be back when it is done yes so let's try it once again and let's see how it's it's gonna work okay All right, so let's try the pickup again. Now we've been redirected to our media file, and I'm just gonna select any of the media file. Then it returns a circular progress, and we have that circular progress right somewhere here. So it is actually returning a circular progress here as a center widget circular progress and if it is done then it returns everything so as you can see here it is quite working perfectly fine right guys it is quite working perfectly fine so when i just flip it over when i just flip it over it's actually gonna work it's not actually gonna work so i don't want to make this video very very long i just want to try and keep this video very very simple and very very neat so 
once we've gotten this and we now know that um we now know that the quotes we added are working perfectly fine for the video editing that is good so on our next video on our next video we're just gonna try and see how we can implement the whole thing we've added into this window all right my name is still means like soft original and this is the 11th part of the video editing software or video editing app we are creating in flutter i hope this really helps you a lot please smash up the like button subscribe to my channel you know share this video across for it to reach people out there and also the source code is being given to you in the link in the description just follow me on all my social media platforms and let's get going until then have a nice day and iksoft original is out